Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I am your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I am your host, Paige Jen. And how is everyone doing? Uh, feeling great. Every time the song starts, my heart just starts going crazy. I, get a, little, like, I get a little nervous. Why, though? Like, excited to film. I don't know why. Because <laughs> I, I guess we never know what the hell we're going to say or how bad Brett's going to fuck up or just anything, you know? You never can tell. You never can tell. And, uh, y'all, how are y'all doing listening? Wherever you're listening from, we hope you're having a great day. Tell us how you're doing right now. Yeah, let us know. Say it out loud. Ready, <laughs> Anne? <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, Good. Proud of you. Hey, um, I do want to start off, um, a couple episodes ago, we started off strong where I fucked a demon and, um, people loved that. I remember that. And people have been asking for more of that. So I thought I would just maybe bend over and fuck a demon real quick. Just kind of, I just thought maybe I would just kind of just maybe, uh, I don't know, like, oh God, oh, oh God. He just, he just stuck his cock in me. Who who is that? Me. Oh, uh, who's me? It's me. Turn around. Oh god! Oh my god! You're fucking me with your. I am. Your huge cock. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh my god! How did your cock get so big? Oh my god! Thank you. Oh my god! You just stuck it in my ass. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Which do you prefer, ass or pussy? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. So there's that. And uh, how are your San Diego shows? Oh, honeys. Are you kidding me? Like, things have been, yeah, San Diego shows were great. Everybody came <laughs> What? Everybody came out for the shows. Um, it, the I'm support just, is unreal. Honestly, I've been just, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been having a great time at life in general. You're shining. I can tell you're happy. Thank you. Well, I always am, but I feel like, honestly, I've been masturbating more lately. Um, and that always helps with, like, my skin and and just overall happiness. Your heart rate, your... Uh, right. Pretty much a lot. Right. Well, it's, it's healthy for you. What, Brett? Yeah, your energy levels are off the charts. All the way I up. Can I just say something real quick? Something that you do that really bothers me, Brett? <laughs> Okay. He goes like this. I no. already know what you're gonna say Hold he on. nods his fucking head. I guess. If we're no, if we're sitting here talking, like on the pod, like right now, mm-hmm. and Brett wants to say something, instead of just and I understand you don't want to interrupt. I get that. <laughs> Hold on, I get that. But this is a podcast where sometimes you gotta just interject yourself a little bit, you know? Brett will sit there as we're talking and sit by the mic and, and he stands up, okay? So he's stood up doing this, he'll go yeah, I'm telling you, he's like licking the ice cream cone, And he'll dude. do that. And if you can't see what I'm doing, if you're listening, he'll hover over the mic like he's about to talk into it and like stare at us waiting for us to say something. Going in and out. Just fucking say it, dude. Sorry. <laughs> he he nods his head like, but well, he does that when you're talking to him too. That's what I'm Hey, her. Okay, let's be, okay, Brad, I'm going to be nasty for the rest of the pot, okay? Hey, just real quick though, when I uh, lean in, it's just a lot of times I'm going to say something, but I know you guys are already going to say it usually. So I'm just kind of waiting just in hmm. case you don't say it. Okay. And that's kind of what I'm doing. Well, what if like, something doesn't I need to be how... said? Well, I got something that needs to be said. I think I've got my first yeasty. Ooh. Second, <laughs> your armpits were yeasty. I did have some yeast on my armpits a while back. Yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about pussy yeasty. <sighs> did you get a fever? Huh? I had a yeast infection when I was little, and, like, I swear, it's the weirdest fucking thing. Me and my Aunt Jody, we, like, thought we could see, like, dice in the fucking air floating, and, like, we just, like, it. it's too hard to explain, but, like, it fucking made me the, so sick. What that, the fuck? Yeah. It, it gave me such a high fever. We don't know how to explain it, but my, me and my Aunt Jody, if anybody out there had a yeast infection, and you, like... We're seeing things? Seeing things and, like, trying to touch them with your hands. That's how you really know your pussy pH was off. If you're seeing shit. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Levels. That's insane. I've never heard of that. 
How how old did you say you were? I was probably like eight, nine. I remember wow. camping and just being like doing weird <laughs> things with my hands, like the box. I don't. It's so hard to explain. Never heard of that in my life, honey. Yeah, so never anyway. heard of that. Okay, why did I just say that? I'm okay. <laughs> Wow. So what happened? You just started peeing and it burned or what? No, it doesn't. No, no, no. And we don't got to dwell on this. You know, I just want everybody to know I've got my first yeasty at 34. Um, No, it just started kind of just itchy, just itching. And I was like, something's up. Like, it's not a normal twat itch, you know. And then, like, the whole area is a little swollen, maybe. Not bad, but it felt like something was off. And so I know Libby gets yeasties constantly because that bitch's pussy be just, I mean, be yeastful. And so I literally called her and I was like, hey, do, you know, I told her my symptoms. Do I have a yeasty? She's like, yeah, that's what a yeast infection is. So went and got some Monistat, put that shit up there, and I've been just creaming it up. And it still hurts? Yeah. It, yeah. I should have, honestly, it's been, it's been over a week. I should have done it a week ago. But Ooh. yeah, we don't got to talk about my yeast infection, you know, we can talk about something else. Well, I'll be praying for you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, dude, mm. this freaking person on Instagram uh huh, made this whole news story of me talking about the purple fart. And they're like saying that the purple fart is fake and we put it, you can s- clearly <gasps> see a tube. Uh, no, that's my asshole. Did a whole fucking thing, and other people are, are commenting like you could just ask her. <gasps> Hold on. Yeah, it's That's... a whole series. Cloud seems to move as a continuous mass. If she had put colored powder in her butthole, we could expect some clumps to be blown free, causing them to follow an arcy trajectory instead. Huh? They think it. We faked Hold it. Hold on. So someone is literally out there thinking that. Your powder farts are conspiracies. Yeah, and then I went to the profile of this person, and then uh, there's me again with the blue fart. They're obsessed and it, with and you. And it's another conspiracy, and I went to the comments, and somebody said, how? And then they said, good question. I just posted part one <laughs> of an investigation into this very matter. You are not the only curious soul in these comments, my friend. Rest easy. All will be revealed. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Hold on. Hold on. First off, I just want to say, that's fucking hilarious. That's, we got to post those screenshots to the Instagram so people can see. Um, what, Greg? Sorry. What, baby? Hey, honeys. Greg's here. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll pause. We'll cut this out. What? He's here? It's for the rats. Okay. Well, he's doing all like the upper area, lower areas, but anywhere that there's openings. Be regular eyeballs and stuff. Down here. Be in the house. It's all outside. Just I think we're good. Okay. Oh, if the dogs are barking yeah, the whole the time. Well, let's just fucking go. Well, I'll I'll just say we have somebody here. Okay. Or we'll go again. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you, honey. All right. We'll just cut all call out, cut all that out, and we'll. Or maybe leave it in. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, there, there's someone here. Uh, we have a, a rat problem, so there's someone here dealing with the rats. Cock in the holes. Yeah. Cock, cock in the holes. Those uh, capybaras. Yeah. You guys Old have Vera. the biggest fucking rats, dude. Dude, I know. And they're not scared. Dogs. Well, just, I guess just leave that in. That's real life, dude. I mean, that's, I mean, shit happens, so. Shit happens. Um, First off, that's freaking hilarious, Paige, and honestly, here's my, here's my take on it. Those videos and the fart are so fucking simple. You guys have no idea. Paige lays down. I sprinkle powder on her butt crack. And she farts. That's it. That seems way easier than tubes and special effects and whatever they're saying. I don't even know what they're saying. I wouldn't even post it if it was fake. I mm, right. only do real farts. <laughs> true it is true you know like why would you even do farts if they're gonna be fake don't fake your farts well i'm i'm just dumbfounded that they think it's like what's fake about it it's not that it's not that unrealistic you guys can do it at home 
Put some powder, put some baby powder in your crack and then fart, and it's going to do that. Well, and you have to buy the right powder. Yes, you do. Party City. Party City. It's called Pure Color. Party City. And I wipe my butthole right before, so Uh that's why it doesn't clog. So it's not wet. Her butthole's not moist and wet. It's dry. When we put the ranch pack out my butthole, right. that clumped quick. Because you weren't prepared for that. See, that's probably the powder they're trying to use. Right. No, you got to use the right powder. Yeah. I, that's fucking hilarious. I want to go through all those screenshots. We, we got to post those. <laughs> oh, they're having messages about it. Look at her butt cheek. Yeah, you can see the tube. What tube? Sh- yeah, what tube? Fucking weirdos. All right, next time we do it, we just got to vlog it for OnlyFans. I yeah, guess. and totally just show my butt, spread my butthole, mm-hmm. pour and pour the pa- We should get clamps for my butthole and then yeah. do like it up close. Oh, but honestly, we're due for a powder butt video. We are. Can it be an ASMR? Ooh, yeah. It's all about angles, once again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. So funny. That's hilarious, dude. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, my God. Cool. Cool. So, should we get into the DMs, or do you have anything to I say? Gotta, I got a DM. What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh. What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? Gotcha. Um, I got a DM. I'm always, uh, oh my god, yeah. Um, uh, let's see here. My DM of the day is pretty good. You ready? Mm-hmm. It is from um, Eber. His name's Eber on Facebook, and he just said... I want some asshole. <laughs> so, cool. That's all he said? Yeah. Just wanted to let me know. I don't know if it's my asshole, anyone's asshole. He just wants some asshole. You got to take a chance. Right. Put yourself out there, and he did. <laughs> you know? You have a DM? He knew the assignment. Right. Uh, This isn't a DM. It's just somebody from our YouTube comments. Okay. It just came up, and uh, she said... You guys are so full of shit. That is not alcohol. Y'all would be glazed over and slurring speech and laughing by number th- shot number three. Okay. You were. I, w- I couldn't. My nose was running the whole time. I could barely fucking talk. I literally popped the bottle on film. I ain't worried about this cunt. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> it's a great word. I love the C word. I yeah. wish I could use it. I've been using it more lately. Get trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Get trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Get trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Yes. I'm ready to win this trivia game once again. I'm actually going to do good this time. (laughs) But psych. Got it. I was thinking we do 10 questions. Okay. I just think you care a little more. Well, and do them right, please. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, actually, know the fucking answer to the question. Okay. Know the uh, answer. Yeah. Say, are we ready for the next question? Answer the next question. Maggie, be ready for the yes or no's. Like, come on, guys. And Brett, talking to your mic. Don't be doing your bok bok chicken chicken. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> well, and a lot of times, I mean, these are just kind of put on my desk right before we <laughs> start filming. Just to let you know. You can't read? Well, yeah. I mean, but... <laughs> Anyway. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> Question number one of Trivial. <laughs> which which has ten arms, an octopus, a squid, or an ant? Ant. Ant. It says uh, squid, but I'm not sure. Okay. So I could look it up real quick. No, we're not Googling every answer. No. Y'all need to do that before. Okay. What color flag should people wave if they wish to stop fighting in a battle? Yellow. I'm going to say yellow. Red. Blue. It's white. Oh, yeah. 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 I went to the medieval times in L.A. Mm -hmm. They have, like, horses. They do jousting. You can, like, eat a meal. It's so much fucking fun. I've never been. I want to go go. so bad. It's fun. We should go and vlog it. It's just fake as fuck. They already predetermined the winner, but it's still a good time. Do they have one around here? There's one. There's some here. If you guys can't hear, uh, I guess the uh, rat guy's here, so the dogs are going nuts. He's talking the whole Once again, this uh, podcast will be a a chaotic disaster, but that's what we're here for, so. Keep listening. Yeah, we love you. 
for supporting us anyway. All right, Brett. Question three. Are dolphins vegetarians? No. Uh, what Wait. Do, what do they eat, like, when they just throw? I remember back. Hmm. No. Correct. I second guess myself there for a minute. That's why you always go with your heart and your gut. I mean, that's what it says here, but I didn't verify it. Brett, okay, we don't need to know every question that you didn't verify it. Question number four. How many different events must a competitor in the de- uh, decathlon take part in? Four. Three? Think decathlon. Deck. D-E-C. 52? Ten. Huh? Ten, yeah. Deck. <laughs> 52? I'm thinking of a deck of cards. Mm. Decade. Sorry. Oh. Right? Like no. I think D-E-C it means ten in, like, Latin. De- decade. Nove. Or, yeah, that one. Oct. Yeah. Makes sense, all of it. Question number five. Okay. What do the spots on opposite sides of a dice always add up to? Seven. Correct. Nice. Good job. And I knew that. Nice. Thank you. How do you know that? I just knew that. I'd heard that before, and it stuck in my head. What's on the opposite side of, um, never mind. I don't know. (laughs) Paige uh, loves craps. No. Blackjack. Yeah. Okay. Question number seven. What did Alexander Graham Bell invent that is in almost every home? The telephone. Yeah. (laughs) Number eight. Winning once again. Are these just easy for you? Yeah. Which queen rules England for 64 years? Queen Elizabeth. Too much swagger there. Victoria. (gasps) Wait, you said which queen runs currently runs not ran Ran. rules i said rules i think but i probably no he said which queen runs hold the paper closer to your face so you can see it (laughs) it's kind of dark too no no no, hold on on. am i right about that would you not when you think when you think which queen runs you think okay the current queen who is running queen elizabeth yeah i would that's a good point let's just give it to her Uh, thank you yeah here thank you thank you Thank you. Okay. Question number nine. How many neck bones does a giraffe have if a human has seven? Uh, Let's just go with uh, one. I'm going to go with like 200. Seven. (laughs) Tricked you. Yeah, you did. Cool. That's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Really important. In case we ever get asked again. Mm -hmm. Question. Last one. Number 10. What did the ancient Romans call the carts that were pulled by horses in races? A buggy. A car a carriage a carry a ca- cart carry cart cart mm. close. Cartman. Chariot. Okay. Cool. Well, I won that round once again. So Okay, yeah, great. That felt great. I love trivia. Thank you guys for tuning into trivia. I'm ready to get into these questions. My favorite part of the pod. I love them. So here we go. Let's let's start let's off. Roll. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Let me tell you about HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered straight to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make cooking fun and easy. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from each week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. Save on average $65 a month when you use HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. Hey, that's more money to spend on presents and activities. Wow, she's not lying. I'm a vegetarian myself, and I hate chopping vegetables sometimes, so I depend on HelloFresh to make it easy, affordable, and great cleanup. Go to HelloFresh.com slash viral14 and use code viral14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Go to HelloFresh.com slash viral14 and use code VIRAL14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. 
Wow. Hey, honey. So I just have a funny story to tell, and um, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So when I was 18, I was hooking up with this guy, and he had been drinking, and I was giving him a blowjob, and he said he was about to come. So I kept going, and all of a sudden, he started to pee in my mouth. And then when he, you know, realized he was peeing, he didn't even, like, try to stop it. He just stood there and kept pissing Mm. all over my floor. Um, I think about that often, Mm. and I'm quite embarrassed for him. Uh, He he did clean up his own piss. He took his T-shirt off that he was wearing and uh, cleaned the piss up. So he did have to leave my house shirtless and go home with no shirt on. Um, so it's just really funny. I love you guys. Hope y'all are having a great day. Honeys, we love y'all's crazy ass stories, dude. What the fuck? How, also, when you're when when you're a dude and you have a boner and you're about to come, how can you just pee like that? Most that, guys that, can't pee with a boner. That's what I'm saying. Brett. I it, can't. Okay, so if you're about to nut, you think he could just switch it and start peeing? No. No. So he must have been just Trained. He had a yeasty. He had a yeasty, man. And then the fact that he just sat there and fucking pissed on the floor, took off the shirt, that that all in all is just too much. Wow, dude. Go home. Yeah, go home. And he did. She made him good. I had a friend who got drunk in, uh, at another friend's house and then pissed all over their heads when they were sleeping. Just thought it was the toilet, went and pissed on their heads. What the fuck? I've never done shit like that. Like, people no. so many times just say, oh, I thought it was the bathroom or what? whatever. And it's like, how? No, man. Yeah, I've had buddies do that, too. Just in the corner. They just think it's a toilet. <laughs> you got to be fucked up. You got to be fucked up. Holy shit, dude. Wow. That's wild. Hi, <sighs> Hey, honeys. Calling y'all from San Diego. Woo! Uh, I love you guys. Uh, I just had a question. So I just want to know if you guys have ever jerked off in the classroom, um, like when you were in high school or college. Uh, I would do it almost all the time, anytime my teacher was wearing sandals that day. And I would just kind of sit in the back corner where no one could see me and uh, where hike up my shorts, put my dingling through the left side of my pants and just kind of rub it uh, with a pencil in my right hand, just writing at the same time. And, yeah. Multitasking. Uh, anyways, let me know. Love you, honeys. Love you, honeys. Thank you for calling in. Great story. Great story. Um, Dude, I feel like that's definitely more of a dude thing, and I feel like it's – Okay, definitely more of a dude thing. Definitely probably easier for a dude. And women, and listen, I'm horny almost constantly. Okay? I love touching my own pussy. I love fucking. I am horny. I have never had the desire to masturbate or come while at work, while at school, while at... Like, that's never crossed my mind. But you also don't have a foot fetish. Correct, no. And feet are everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) You know? Use right. Like, oh my. All the teachers go back and watch their footage to see which guy this was. You know what, though? You've got, he's got balls, dude, to sit there in class while he's taking down notes and while he's also jacking off. Where'd your cum go? And quite the big dick to just slap it on over to the left leg and just. I can see how he could do it, but yeah, I was also wondering about the cum. You know. <laughs> I'm, that's what I'm worried about. And do you rub on the outside of your shorts, or, or do you or, stick your hand inside? Hand in and yeah, I had to go underneath, and I'm pretty sure he like kind of put it underneath the underwear too. Just kind of kept it real tight, and then <laughs> kind of like docking. I'm, I'm guessing we're like, not talking about high school it. thing. <gasps> okay. Oh, I oh, I was supposed to Google docking stuff for this episode. That'll be next time, guys. I promise. Remember, I promised that I would do. Yeah, we'll talk about that next later. Time. I didn't get. I can get around to do that. But, um, Brett, have you ever masturbated in public or at school or anything like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the guy at the Chargers game like five years ago? He was caught behind the cheerleaders doing that exact same fucking thing. 
insane, dude. dude. Probably has a red dot now. But so make yeah. sure. Just be careful. Just, hey, if you guys are going to do stuff like that, please be careful. Okay? And just, or just do it at home maybe. I don't know. Watch your back for sure. But I've never done that. Yeah, that's wild. We'd probably be doing it if we had dicks. Yeah, no doubt. Thanks for calling in. Thank you so much. Hey, lady. Love the podcast. Love it, love it, love it. I'd like to know if you guys are going to have a special guest on there like uh, L. King. Congratulations to her and her new son and her marriage. And if you guys are going to have like Officer Daniels and all of them on there. Love the podcast. Keep it up. Have a great fucking day. Oh. See ya. Yes. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Having a great fucking day. Um, great question because honestly, lots of people have been asking. Um, here's what we want to do. Yeah. We. We're going to have some guests on the pod. We'd love to have some guests on the pod. We don't want to have random guests. We, we don't want, like, celebrities no. and just, like... We're going to keep it tight in our circle. You know, Libby, Officer Daniels, oh, if L. King, that'd be great. She could come in. You know, yeah, we're going to have some guests. Here's our only dilemma. It's so small in here. <laughs> we need to figure out where we're going to put a guest and where we're going to put another camera. I said we should just plop the guest up there on the mount yeah they could either lay sit crisscross do whatever you need that would be funny just to sit crisscross right here funny we may do that i mean it's funny yeah because yeah that's really the only place they could go right at this rate right or sit beside one of us that'd be awkward because there's not enough space i don't know but yes we're gonna have we're gonna have an l king's a good one i bet she would come on with us yeah she can bring her baby yeah Mm, yeah (laughs) we're gonna have some we're gonna have some guests for you that'll be coming up are we not enough i'm just kidding we're doing we're doing it yeah we're we're doing great i was just kidding with you yeah for sure for sure hey chelsea and Paige. this is canadian chris calling i am a gold star butch lesbian and i want to know if you've had any lesbian experiences And big shout out to Beth. Hey, girl. Hey, you're super hot. All right. You want to scissor Beth? Cool. Um, Gold star lesbian. So does that mean like above a diamond? Like you can't get more lesbian than that. Like if there's different levels of lesbianism, I don't think I don't know if there is, but there's emerald, platinum. (laughs) She's gold star, which means she probably just eats and breathes pussy. Um, have, have I ever had a lesbian experience? Okay, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Um, really into wiener, first off. Um, I mean, love it. Okay? I think women are beautiful. I think women are attractive. Um, I love tits. I'll suck on some tits. I'll make out the chick. When it comes to the vagina, oh, God, that's where I have a hard time. Okay? I touched one once. Not gonna lie. A while back, um, I used to work at Whole Foods in Dallas, Texas, and me and the crew, we would always fucking go to the strip club called Ecstasy. Not Ecstasy like the pill, but X-T-C. Ecstasy. X-T-C. In Dallas. It's my favorite strip club. Right? It's my favorite strip club. We would go, dude, we'd go like two or three nights a week to this strip club and just party. And one of my friends, um, I mean... You know, shit happens. We, I mean, you know, we were whatever. I don't know. Making out. I don't know. I don't even know what we're doing. Making out, I think. And I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to touch her pussy. Oh, God. I'm so embarrassed at who's listening to this podcast oh, right my. now. I'm mortified, dude. Hey. I'm mortified. It's not just us. I know. So, um, so, I, so I reached down in her pants. And this is the chick from Whole Foods who works with you? Yeah. Who's still a friend of mine, by the way. And reached down. And started rubbing her pussy, rubbing her clit. And I was down there maybe, I give it five seconds, and I started gagging. The smell, the, no, the it was texture? Fu- no, it was the texture. It was the fact that it was a pussy, and I'm not into pussy. And that's how I knew, knew. That's how I was like, that's enough experimentation for me. Forever, maybe. You know, I was like, I literally was like, I was like, okay, okay I'm good. I wouldn't know how to handle another pussy. I can we I can barely handle my own. The juices, it's just it's too 
Oh, this pussy gets juicy. Let me tell you. I think every lesbian deserves a gold star. Right. Yeah. You're right. And every, just every gay person. Yeah. Amen. You're right. And I always say it takes a real woman to lick a pussy because we know what goes on down there. And the fact that you still want to go down there, God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. God bless you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of have no idea, I guess. I just... Well, you, I think, I think, um, uh, you see it. You see my blood clots, Brett. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the other stuff, you know, that comes with all that. Well, you know, just it's the, the dealing with it. You know, we see it at its, at its very worst. And I feel like you've probably seen it bad. You haven't seen it at rock bottom. <laughs> a I rock... try to show them. I'm like, come look at my clots. And <laughs> no, a rock this. bottom pussy. What's yeah, that I mean, looking the... like? A rock bottom pussy is a pussy that you you don't want no one to you keep your pants up and you are not fucking a rock bottom pussy it's is like a bottom feeder. A rock bottom pussy is I haven't showered in forty eight hours and I just did a twelve hour shift uh working construction um and I'm discharging a yeast infection and uh I got a case of some STI. That's rock bottom pussy. I I agree. I agree. And that needs a rock bottom pussy needs I'll to be on a shirt. That on a rock. shirt, I would wear that. <laughs> New merch idea: rock bottom pussy. <laughs> oh my! So, where what are we even talking about? Oh, have you rock had a lesbian bottom. experience? No, you no. never. You never made out with a chick. No, I've just never. I guess that I just don't. I've always just been so boy crazy, and yeah. somehow men just. Yeah. Men are just there. Right. (laughs) And I don't, and I guess I'm not a lesbian either. So there's that. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. That, so our lesbian experiences are not very exciting. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Hey, honey. 15 years old here. I know, I know. I know you guys are thinking a little bit young to be watching your podcast, but. My mom and me both watch Chelsea's content, and she thinks it's funny, and it's fun because it's something me and my mom can bond over. Oh, that made my whole day, honestly. And we the can f- bond over it, and then I just think of the, oh, who's fucking me? Just every time it goes back to that. Dude, oh, a 15-year-old no. just listened to us going, ah, oh, <laughs> and then you were... Doing your demon t- Okay, okay. Here's my thing. You're so young, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. It's not a boy. And, sure. and, and honestly, the fact that you said, hey, honey, he's 15 years old here, made my whole day. I think you're old enough to know about life. You're going to know. My little yeah. nephew called me the other day, and he goes, love you, honeys. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit, he's watching the podcast. Oh, my. How old is he? Uh, 14. Oh my God. And, but my little nieces are what the yeah. whole family. Yeah. I kind of wonder who's watching this. I don't know. I understand people being like, oh, it's way too young to listen to your content. I feel like, I feel like at 15, if you don't know, my God, it's, you're about to know, it's about to slap you in the face. You can't keep kids sheltered from cuss words and knowing about, I mean, trust me, they know you think, oh, my kid doesn't know. They know. And huh. then I feel like when you Gosh, probably not all parents, whatever, but I feel like if you gradually just kind of, like, prepare your kids for adulthood, then they're not going to be fucking idiots when they grow up and, like a Like a boy over there? Yeah. (laughs) I'm just kidding, Brett. (laughs) Brett looked past him. He's like, I'm just joking. A lot like that, but. Love you, Brett. They just don't know how to act or. Love you, too. It's just the, what is it, the uh, frontal lobe. The voice. Oh. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. He said, what is it about him? The frontal lobe. The frontal lobe, for yeah, sure. It's not fully developed. Yeah. No, I love that. Lessons. I love that you and your mom watch and listen, made my whole day. I don't think you're too young. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. I have had, I have had, dude, I was in Old Navy in Oklahoma City <clears throat> the other day. Buying flip-flops? No, it was, it, was a, it was a while back. It was a few weeks ago. Um but this lady came up to me. She had her and her two young daughters. The daughters were like seven and ten, maybe. She came up to me and she was like, "My whole family loves you." She was like, "My son has your topless calendar. He's 13. <gasps> I was like, eee! "Splurging like, to your calendar, dude. He's spewing on it. Does she know?" Stop! 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 
don't say that. Spewing. Splurge. Stop it. I was just like, ooh, that's, you know, ooh, that's a little young, but, uh, okay. But thank, you, but thank you for the purchase. But if the parents are buying it, I mean, I don't know. Hey, you can Google tits, but, but I was just kind of like, whoa. You can see tits on Amazon. Right. I was looking at shower curtains, and there's a fucking shower curtain with a set of titties on it with showing the nipple. That's funny. It's like, okay. Yeah. That's funny. If we posted that shower curtain on Instagram, they'd delete it. Right. Right. But, I mean, I don't know. Whatever. There's that. Yeah. So. Kids will hear it one way or another. Right. Yeah, you can just Google titties. Yeah, Brett, she yeah. said that. Love oh, you. That's what I just said, Brett. He said fuck. <laughs> he said fuck. Hi. So, I'm calling because I need advice, and I love the podcast. It's, I love listening to it while I work. It makes it so much easier. So... Um, my husband's siblings, they hate me for some reason, and they can be very rude when I'm around, and it makes it very difficult for holidays and family get-togethers, and they just don't like me. Mm. So, like, what what would you do? Would you cut them off or or what? I've never done anything to them. I've always been nice. They just, they don't like me but what would you do okay 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 (laughs) that's tough she said her husband's siblings don't like her and they're rude to her and it makes the whole family functions awkward here's my thing you said i have not done anything to them (sighs) my this is where my brain first went you may not have done anything to them But I guarantee you, if you and your husband have had problems or if you have done something to him or done him wrong in any way or done this or that, he's probably told them. And it left a salty taste in their mouth. Yes. Um, Because no doubt. Because I don't think any, I don't think, that just seems crazy to me that they would not like you for absolutely no reason if you are great and great for their brother and all that shit. Does that make sense? I can see that, but a lot of the times, like, families don't accept somebody else to date their sibling because they feel like they're not good enough for their sibling. Okay, why do they feel they're not good enough? I don't know. Just, peop- like, other moms and shit are like that. Like, she's not good enough for my son. Oh, she's not good enough for my brother. I have a huge-ass family, so I know this firsthand. But is it... But that... But that thought has to come from somewhere. It can't come from nowhere. Is it not good enough because, sh- you know, you're hearing that she's controlling or she's this or she, you know what I mean? So that that thought and opinion has to come from somewhere. It has to stem from something. Yeah, but I also feel like sometimes the moms just will never feel like anybody is good enough because they're jealous almost like you're taking away my I feel son. Like, I feel like that's a different subject. But I feel like you're right, but that's a, that's different from this. All of his siblings, not one. She said all of his siblings. So there's been some talk about you. So what you do? There's been some talk about you. That's just where my brain's going. Could be off. But as soon as you said, I've done nothing to them, I've been nice to them, I'm thinking, then they know something about you that you don't think they know. <laughs> yeah. Right? Sometimes it sucks when you rant about somebody. And then, but you're like obviously still friends with them. You just want right. to rant. And then it comes back to bite you in the ass because then they are like, you, right. they already know what you've told them. Right. And we don't <laughs> got to get, does that de- make sense? We don't got to get deep into this, but uh, Maggie and Beth's, all of their ex boyfriends, I don't think I've ever liked any of them. Um, and it's not because they weren't nice to me or they weren't this. It's because of the shit that they would tell me that they would do. I'm like, fuck those motherfuckers. Yep. You know what I, right? Right. Yeah. So like, your, your ex-husband never really did anything to me. I never really even talked to him for a year. They all, they were married for fucking, what, 10 years? 10 years. Never yeah. had a conversation with the guy. Well, Whoa. you did when we first started got together. Dating. The first, maybe the first day, and then I was like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, yeah, we, yeah, but, oh, the shit man you would tell, I'm like, I don't like this guy. So, I, I mean, I wasn't. I didn't go out of my way to be rude to him or to best ex boy. I didn't go out of my way to be rude or mean, but I definitely didn't go out of my way to get to know him or be nice. That's a You're, hard thing though, because if family functions and just, right. I mean, if yeah. you try to separate yourself from him or like 
I guess if you separate yourself from the family, then you're kind of excluding your husband from the family too. Right. Unless you just don't show up and your husband goes and then they're like, where's she at? If it were me, if it were me and I were in your position, I personally would, I wouldn't cut them out of my life because you don't want to, that's a form of, dude, you can't expect your husband to cut them out of, out of his life. That would be a problem for That's a, that's a huge problem. That's, that's abuse, you know, and control. I, I would just try to, you know, I wouldn't try to be buddy, buddy friends. I would try to be as cordial as possible and see him when I had to see him. And I wouldn't try to make anything more than what it was. Or why not ask? Like, hey, I just... And I wonder how long they have been together. Right. Because that kind of... Oh, yeah. Like, if it's been a long time... Right. You can't. Like, that's your family. Right. The ideal situation would to be to talk to them and talk to your husband. Dude, I understand how uncomfortable that even... Thinking about that is... Yeah. Some families are just fucking weird, though. Like, You're right. Some families, honestly, just don't talk. Or You're like, right. It... Not yep. everyone's like us and just You're welcoming right. and open and oh, I want to suck my pussy. Just yep. And she's calling into the podcast, so she's probably like Could us. Be. Yep. Could be. You're right. And honestly, she, him, and her, and her husband could have an amazing, healthy, great relationship. And you're right; they could just be assholes and not like her. I mean, that's a, that could be an option. I'm just thinking, like, God, what has he told them? Yeah. Right, that my that, first that's where my too. first thought was. He Do has guys told them. gossip like that though? If he might if, have told like his mom, and if the he's, mom told everybody, oh, spreads like wild. If he's oh, close yeah. with the family, if he's close with his family, no doubt. Or just told a sister or a brother, then yeah. everybody knows. Yeah. yeah, my dad, I swear, he calls me and stirs drama. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> God, I love your dad. We got to have your dad on the pod. On the pod. Yeah, he would love it. Hilarious. Um. I'm going to reapply my, you guys, oh my gosh, hold on real quick. I just got this new lipstick. I love the color. It's like salmon or what's that called? I don't even know. But get this, I got to tell you a story. Can I try it? It's Do called pussy. Doosel. I went, okay, I went, so that's the only thing I bought. I don't think I got it at Nordstrom's or somewhere. I can't remember. And I thought, oh, this is pretty. I tried it on. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get this. Didn't look at the price because it's just lipstick, right? Like how much is, bucks. how much is lipstick? Fucking too much, like $28 well, already? Well, I, I went to go pay, and she was like, I forgot exactly what she said, but she was like, all right, your total's like seventy two eighty four, And I literally was like, I literally, my freaking heart stopped, and I was like, like, what Like what else did you, did she get me three of them, you know? Yeah. I was literally like, how much? And she was like, 72 blah, blah, And then I was like, all right, fuck it, here's my debit card. <laughs> But God almighty. Because we would not be like, oh, put it back on the shelf. Like, I don't know. When you're up there, you're invested to buy it. So this better be the best lipstick of my fucking life, dude. Holy shit. It better last your whole life. Right. 78 fucking It was some, I was just like, Jesus Christ. It's Tom Ford. Did you check your receipt? Yes. It was that expensive or something. It was something ridiculous. Yeah, but anyway. All right, next question, boo. Hey, honeys. Have a confession here. Mm. I'm married to a man who's old enough to be my father. And I really want to fuck my coworker, who is actually my type, but is not the father of my children. Mm. How the fuck do I proceed on this shit? So I guess I'm kind of asking for advice, too. Love you, babies. We love you. We love you. Uh, um, first things first, file for a divorce. <laughs> so you're asking how do you proceed? Um, ma'am, you don't. You don't because you're married. Unless, you know, I don't know. If Unless you have an open relationship. Right. If he's a cool old dude and you feel comfortable being like, hey, man, like, you know, like I've said, I've said this on this podcast before. You never know. You think you're. Partner's not gonna, you never know, you know, if you guys have an, if you, sorry, that was my pen. If you have an open, you know, transparent relationship, you never know. But if you're sitting there thinking, man, I'm with this, I'm with this old guy. He's just, dick ain't cutting it no more. I'm attracted to this coworker. It's not worth it. Don't fucking do it, man. Don't be a cheater ass. Don't, don't do it. Dude, I know it's hard. People want to, the urge is hard. Not to fuck everybody. Right. (laughs) For real. You know? But you just can't. If you're going to 
com- like if you're going to get in a relationship, then you gotta just know that all other fucking people are not. Y'all have got kids. Don't 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 fuck with this coworker. Coworkers, it never ends well. I'll tell you that. Don't, okay. Yeah, don't be doing that. And it's like, just no, don't do that. Just talk to your husband. Get re- you know. And then maybe do that. And then maybe do that. You know, if he's okay with it, or if he, you know, if you're like, I am not asking him, he will not be okay with it. Leave your coworker alone. Listen, and I know we're sluts on this uh, podcast, and you maybe wanted to hear us say, go get some dick. But we're not cheating sluts. We're just sluts. Right. Permission. Yeah, right. Permission sluts. We're permission sluts. Get there your, we go. go. Go get your permission card. Go get a permission card. Go get a, yeah, and go a packing permission slip. slip. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Remember but, that? To ride the bus for yeah. a field trip or anything? Yeah. I'd forge my mom's signature every fucking day. Really? Yeah, the procrastination was real. Like, I had to get a signature for my mom and couldn't even do that. Yeah, that's funny, dude. I struggled with that, too. What? Just getting the SIG. I was always having to forge it. Like, in chemistry that I did my, uh... Just last minute. Oh, fuck, how do I forge my mom's... Being so scared, like, the FBI was going to come after me for this permission slip. I don't think I've ever forged a signature in school. Ever. Yeah, I have. You have? Yeah. For and what? Even when I sign the kid stuff now, yeah, my handwriting's so sloppy, and like they'll hand me an old pencil that's not sharpened, and I'm like, they're gonna think the kid wrote this. Oh, <laughs> is your mic on? Or oh no, it's not. There we okay. go. Oh, do better. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Maggie was saying she uh, she has to write the kids permission slips and. And what? I couldn't hear. I don't know. How do we get to talking about permission slips, man? <laughs> For the husband fucking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just don't do it, okay? Don't do it. If you love your husband and you know it would hurt him, it's not. Don't fuck with that. Don't fuck with that. In That's the long trouble. run, you're going to hurt yourself That's even more. That's trouble. You're going to, yes, 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 yes. Just get you a, a little toy on, uh, you know, Adam and Eve. Use our code. You know what I mean? Get you a little toy. Because I'll tell you right now, a toy will make you bust a nut. That coworker is not going to make you bust a nut. <laughs> Fuck no. He's not. Takes time. Takes time to know the spots. Right. All right. Thanks for calling in. This holiday season, I want to give my loved ones a gift that makes them feel special and unique, just like the relationship we share. That's why I'm giving everyone I care about StoryWorth. StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your loved ones Preserve precious memories and stories for years to come. I love memories. Every week, StoryWorth emails your relative or friend a thought-provoking question of your choice from their vast pool of possible options. Questions that you thought to never ask. After one year, StoryWorth will compile all of your loved ones' precious memories and keep it in a keepsake book that you can go back to and revisit for generations. And hey, reading weekly stories really helps you connect with your loved ones, no matter how near or far they are. Near, far, wherever you are. With StoryWorth, I'm giving those I love most a thoughtful gift from the heart. And preserving their memories and stories for years to come. Guys, please go to storyworth.com slash viral and save $10 off your first purchase. That's right. That is storyworth.com slash viral and save $10 off your first purchase. What a cool and unique gift to give someone. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Paige. Love you both so much. Calling all the way from England. Um, my question is, would you rather fuck Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka, or Johnny Depp, Willy Wonka? Love you, bye. Love you. Uh, we, we've got an England caller. Her accent is so cute. I love how she said, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. I can't picture people with accents ever getting mad. Would you rather fuck, let me do my, this is my best British accent. Would you rather fuck Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka? Or Johnny Depp, Willy Wonka. Was that, that was good? good? That, was, that, was, that was, good. was really good. That was really good. I feel like you need an applause, dude. Give me an applause. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hold on, Thank let's you. do this. <laughs> Thank you. We're cheesy around here, you guys. We're trying to still fix the sound bites. Okay. My answer. Should we say one, two, three? And then I want to explain mine. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Johnny Gene Depp. Wilder. Oh. Hear me out. Hear me out. I love Johnny Depp. Oh. What I wouldn't give to have his cock in me. Okay? Straight up. I'll admit it. Every every dude when he was young, old, middle. Johnny Depp is fucking hot. I'll say that. I'll say he that. He stayed good looking. Um, him as Willy Wonka? Mmm. 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 Oh, Not, I love it when he dresses up crazy. As Willy Wonka, though? Yeah, all his characters. Hold on. Johnny Depp, Willy Wonka. I don't think he was hot in that. Let me double check. It's the same dick. Okay, looks very... Okay, to me, Willy Wonka... Okay, Johnny Depp in Willy Wonka looks very much like a, like an emerald lesbian. And like I, like, like I said 10 minutes ago, I'm not, I'm not really that into chicks. Tell me that, oh. you, did I get it off Google? I got Tell it. me that he doesn't look a little lesbianish there. Yeah, the, the bowl cut. Yeah, it's the bowl cut. It's the bowl cut for me. It's the, and all the makeup and just very feminine. <clears throat> doesn't look like Johnny Depp. Yeah. D- does, does not, not look like Johnny Depp. Okay. Now, Gene Wilder. Now, I don't throb for Gene Wilder, but if I had to do Johnny Depp or Gene Wilder, I think he makes a better Willy Wonka. Now looking at the photos. Told you, told you, told you. But damn, dude. But it's not. you're not fucking Johnny Depp. You're fucking Willy Wonka. <sighs> think about that. Now look at Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka. Hold on. I'm right about this. Uh, I am. I saw him. Now, he, come on. Well, he doesn't have the fucking painted Way face. Way cuter. Way cuter. More manly. Yeah, he doesn't have the painted face. Right. Kind of looks like uh, Aaron Rodgers. Right. Oh. So, do you, do you, does that does my answer make sense now? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to switch you. up my answer. Thank you. <gasps> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Damn. Amen. I told you. Too much. Why did they paint his face so much? Doesn't. Right? Yeah. That was a great question. That was a fun question. Willy Wonka. Thanks for calling in. Thank you so much. Wow. Loved it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, honey. Naughty confession here. Ooh. So this one time I worked at a convenience store, and I used to uh, bang the vendors in the pop coolers. Um, So next time you're grabbing a drink at a convenience store when you're on tour or something, just know there might be somebody getting down back there. Have a good day, guys. Okay. Yeah. Hey, listen. In the convenience store. You think you're telling me something that I don't know, but I already knew that. Did you do that? Or what? Well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no, I worked at Sonic for eight years, so me and the cooks, well, I'd go back there and make out and get fingered in the walk-ins. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, All the time. I remember those. All yeah. the time, dude. Dude, I would fucking, oh, are you kidding me? We'd go on break. We we'd plan who went on breaks together, and I'd go. We'd go in the car in their back parking lot. Yeah, you said Maggie I, was dating her cousin, the cousin. Yeah, or kissing from him. Sonic. But that's that's are we are talking about that? I'd get finger blasted on break, dude. And I had Sonic pussy, and that's when you know <laughs> smells like deep fryer. High school yeah. kids do not give up. High school men do not give a fuck. I had Sonic pussy. I can't imagine what your pussy smelled like because even the ice smells like deep fryer from Sonic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, oh, we'd go on the walk-in and make out, and, oh, God, you would, like, walk past someone, and, like, like the cooks would walk past me and, like, grab my ass and, like, put their cocks up against me. I had so much fun working at Sonic. Yeah, <laughs> good times. And I would even do, if put I saw. Put their cocks up. Oh, against- yeah. If I, I remember me and Becca, my best friend from high school, we were working at Sonic in Gainesville, Texas, and we had just graduated high school and moved to, um, Oklahoma City to go to college and we would come back on weekends and there was this we would go by the Sonic and just say hi to everybody and you know because we missed working there and stuff and everybody still worked there and there was this new cook and we were talking to him and very nerdy very oh I'm so glad I get to tell this story very nerdy very shy 
very, you know, extremely introvert. And somehow we were talking and stuff, and it was like a Saturday night, and, you know, the, the drag on Sonic and stuff. We got to talking, and he had never seen boobs, felt boobs, anything. And Becca was like, Chelsea, you can feel hers? And I was like, yeah. So long story short, me and this dude went to the back where all the stock cups are, Maggie. Mm -hmm. Just you two. Uh Uh-huh. And he would not touch me. He was so scared. And I, like, literally lifted up my shirt and my bra and, like, took his hands. And, like, he was just sitting there just fucking, literally just going. Did he get a boner? I don't even know. We didn't do anything else. And I literally had my shirt up and I was just, like, knocking back. I just letting him. I was like. He's the one guy at Sonic not putting his dick on people. (laughs) And you're like, let's change that. <laughs> I just oh. felt like I needed to do him a service. I have great tits. He's never touched tits, and so he was just back there, just fuck, just touching them, just I grabbing them. Yeah. So that was fun. That's just the kind of person I am. Yeah, fucking in a Sonic in the freezer. Yeah. My friend fucked her boyfriend in the construct. Like he did, con- or what's it called with the lighting and electric, elect- electrical work. Yeah, what's that called? Electrician. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Like a line man? Yeah, he okay. had to be up. Oh, yes. Yeah. He had to be up in the fucking ceiling. Yeah. And he was working at like, maybe it was a Vons or a grocery store. And she fucking went up there in the ceiling with him when he was at work and fucked him up there. That's awesome. What if you fell through? And That'd be fucking. That kid at Vons. That'd yeah. be great. <laughs> Just come through on aisle seven and. That'd be great, plop. dude. That would hurt. No, though. I would. <laughs> when I worked at Sonic, if I saw a, a hot guy pull up i would write my uh name and number on his cup and yeah. hand it to him that's how i like meet me in uh-huh. the freezer no i'd be like i'd h- hang out with him or whatever after work i'd be like and it would work half the time half i'd get calls and half i had half i'd get texts and half i wouldn't because you know they're either have a girl whatever um but i would have dudes text me and tell me they had a girlfriend i'm like then why don't you text me bitch yeah cheater Cheater, but um, yeah, that's how I. That's that's the old school Tinder. Pretty much, you were reaching. You had to reach back in the day. You did. Write you had your to fucking number on the stall. You, write your number. You had to be creative. Right? No, you had to go out there and get it. Right. If calling, that's what you yeah. want. Yep. Calling a house. Uh, hey, can I speak to? Oh, you? Awful. <laughs> awful. These kids now will never know, and I don't even know because I'm still young. What you know, my parents and grandparents went through, but. These right. kids these days don't know fucking. The they're not droppers gonna, on the other line. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They have iPads and shit you, now. You, just you'd be talking on a landline. <laughs> you'd be talking, and all of a sudden you hear. All right, I'm gonna be quiet. You, you hear, and you go, "Hang it up." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Hang it up. I'd I'm always be. Sn- <laughs> yeah. I'd always be sneaking on to see I, who my sisters were fucking. I miss landlines. Well, we have one. We don't use it. We don't use it because it's different. I want one of the one ones that you have to yeah. Oh, the rotary. I want a rotary phone. <sighs> That'd be dope. We should get one in here and then the people call in. The viral we gotta callers figure out how to, call. We, it has to be Wi-Fi. But we can get one to set right here to look cool. <laughs> yeah. Let's just do it to look we'll cool. We'll do it. Set old, those yeah. Bobby phones. You yeah. Know? We'll do it. We'll do it. Cute. Amazing. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Hey, honey. Gina here from Kentucky here. Okay. Um, I just listened to your podcast and you guys were drinking, doing the um, trivia. Okay. Trivia. Anyway, so I was curious, what is the funniest story you have after a night of drinking? Uh, I have a few, but anyway, I want to know what you guys have. Okay, bye. Bye, honeys. Bye, honeys. After drinking? Dude, I don't have any. A drinking story. You know I'm not a drinker. I, ne- I never was a big drinker. I, when I graduated and then I, I moved from Utah to San Diego and I went pretty hard. I gained that freshman 20 just with IPAs alone. Really? And everyone would always dare me to be the one to like chug shit because yeah. I would. And I would always get sick at around 5 a.m., but one day after drinking or one night, I uh, woke up the next morning, and everyone was staying in the hotel room together, and the door to the bathroom was like glass. So, obviously, I drank too much the night before, and here I go, getting mm-hmm. sick, 
And it's like probably seven in the morning and I'm like, I'm going to go fucking puke and everyone's going to hear it. So while I'm puking, oh my gosh, what? I'm throwing up in the toilet and probably like 10 guys are out in the, <laughs> this hotel's kind of small. Yeah. So they can hear me. And as I'm puking, dude, all these farts just start. <laughs> and I'm, Ugh. every time I would go, Ugh, a, a big fart ass would- fart would <laughs> Would come out and I would just did not want to walk out of the bathroom <laughs> door, dude. That's mortifying. <laughs> That's embarrassing as fuck. Yeah. Were they awake when you came out? Oh, they were woke. They had to have been woken up. And even if they pretended they weren't, you know they heard it. That's embarrassing. That's mortifying. Yeah. So, Maggie, do you have a a, a crazy drunk story? Because this bitch, this bitch went hard back in the day. Yeah, I used to be really wild. I she used to be wild, dude. I I did a lot of blow too. God. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Oh my God. Well, I, give us a, any story. I don't know. She's extra wild. Fuck. I can't remember. I can't think of yeah. anything that's like crazy. There was it was, you know, so much, but right. I mean I did do four months yeah, she in did. jail one time. And you almost four? Missed, she almost missed my wedding. Yeah. I got out the day before Chelsea got married. The day before. Four months is a long time. She I, didn't she didn't make my bachelorette party because she was in jail. Damn, you didn't reschedule. <laughs> because Hell no. Um I got a public intox. Yeah. And she, she, I beat the hell out of two cops. Yeah. Oh well, fuck. Well You didn't beat the hell, you fought back. They were hitting her. Yeah, they they were But that's a whole yeah. That's a whole thing. But anyway, that's probably the craziest thing that's happened to me being under the influence. Yeah. Dude, I that's pretty nuts. I do have some other crazy stories. Should I show? Wait, did I already Hold tell on. the one? Hold on. This bitch did four months in county. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no TV, no nothing. Could you imagine Maggie and Jim? Let me uh, say this, though. It was before I had the kids. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Do They're you, the oh, reason I calm down. Oh, good, good talk. Good point yeah. to bring yeah. up. Yeah, she, I just want to bring that up. No, when you got pregnant, <laughs> yeah, it was like Maggie, you know, changed person. And not that you were hor- a horrible person before. You weren't. You're. You've always been your yourself and Maggie. But when you got pregnant, you were twenty one. Yeah, twenty. Twenty one. Twenty or twenty one. And when she told me she was pregnant, I was like, Oh God, this is either going to be the worst <laughs> fucking thing in the world or the best fucking thing in the world for her. And it was the best fucking thing in the world. It for was her. the best thing that could have ever happened. To me. Sometimes ever. it just takes I was like kids to in like the deep end. This yeah. bitch was, yeah. Sometimes it makes kids just kids make you realize, fuck dude, I need yeah. to wake up and yeah. Yeah. not be going and to jail for four months. During that time in your life, you and I weren't super close. No, not we didn't, really. We didn't talk every day. We didn't. Cause I, I can't imagine no. that. Because I didn't want to deal with this bitch. Yeah. She was it, fucking crazy. I was Whoa. crazy. Whoa. I mean, we were still, we didn't. Like, I didn't even talk to Beth. I didn't no. talk to Beth for like two or three years. There was no, there was no fallout or nothing, but she was just too I crazy. I was just off doing my own thing. Yeah. Which wow. is In cra- relationships. And- well, which is crazy because we're so close and we've always been close. We've, we, as ki- little kids, like we've always been like. So close, I, and I think that's because of our childhood. Yeah. Like, nobody understands our childhood the way that we do. And we almost had to be close because we had no one else, you know? Exactly. So we've always been super close. So to look back on those, what was it, a year or two, I would say, that we weren't super close is crazy to me. Yeah. It's like, whoa, like, she almost missed my wedding, dude, by oh, a no. day. By one day. I literally got out the day before. And I wasn't even going to be in the wedding. Right. Because I, I went to the rehearsal, and, like, I started bawling. I was like, mm-hmm. you know. Because I, I, to, to, I had to plan. Sad. I had to make other plans because the bitch was in county. <laughs> For four months. <laughs> How did she get out? Were you like, uh, I can't even remember, dude. It's been so long. I can't remember. but They just let me out. I I think I had, like, time served or yeah, something. Yeah, and I think I asked a friend to step down and let you be in it or something. Yeah. I can't remember, but. Yeah. Hey, yeah. sorry. No, you uh, were yeah, I was like, sorry, I'm back now. My sister's like, out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> My sister just got out of county. <laughs> you were her replacement. Right. Oh, man. Good times, dude. But, um. Holy fuck. Yeah. 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 So, that, yeah, that's, that's the craziest. Yeah, you're right. I would say that whole fucking. Yeah, two years. God, that was just nuts. It was. It was, Maggie. Y'all wouldn't even recognize me. Like, no. No. It was was crazy. Like, night and day. Yeah. 
<sighs> the bitch was, yeah, wild. I feel like my sister, Jasmine, you know, was oh. like that, but then she calmed down with her kids. So yeah. kids just calm yeah. people down. Either they calm you down or Did they I end up they, crazy. They end, they end up in the system. End up in the system. And, and I, I didn't know how it was going to go. With our childhood and, tra- and track record of, you know, our grandma <laughs> raising us and our parents being, you know. Yeah. So I was like, great, either either uh, somebody else is going to raise, the- raise this kid or Maggie's going to be the best mom in the world. And she ended up being the best mom in the world. Yeah, oh, thank you. she you. is. And you guys all do great. And just to be a family and just. Thank you, honey. Yeah, you guys just do it. I just love taking care of my family. That's why I want the compound in Nashville. That's why I want to be successful. It's not even like a money thing. It's me stressing about my family and about my close friends and, and yep. I don't want anybody to stress out. Like it, I, I struggle with just seeing people stress out. Right. Right. I can agree with that. I can. Yeah. A hundred percent. I want to take care of my family too. So I can't wait for the day that Greg is able to quit his job, you know? I can't wait. I can't wait till we're all living on the compound in Nashville and we're all just fucking mm-hmm. just doing it, man. Because work alone adds so much stress to people. Yeah. And then yep, some people just live paycheck to paycheck. Yep. Or yep. Just hard time. And things are so fucking expensive. Gas, $5 a gallon, huh? Filled up my car last night. It capped out at $100. Mine too. <sighs> I had to go back and put more in it because it wasn't full. And you just got a truck. What, Brett? Shrinkflation. Yeah. Oh, huh? Huh? Shrinkflation. Shrinkflation is like when they put things in like smaller containers than oh. what they used to be, and they don't tell you, so you kind of get got at the oh, grocery store. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But, yep, uh, shrink, 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 shrinkflation, yep. Brett. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put, yep. put that on a shirt. Right? We're putting that on yep. a shirt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have all kind of merch ideas. I know. All right, next question. We went off the rails on that one. Hey, honeys. Tracy here. I have a question. What has changed in your life since you guys have become public figures? Ooh. Uh, Something has to have changed. Let us know. Okay. Thanks, honeys. Love hey, you. Love you, honeys. Love you. Uh, so what the, has... Oh, go ahead. The bank account? <laughs> <laughs> uh, little bit. Little bit. Bank accounts change a little bit. Little bit. For sure. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. Not a lot, baby. Um so what has changed in our lives since becoming public figures? It's so weird. It's so hard to explain because a big part of me feels like absolutely nothing has changed. But then everything's fucking changed at the same time. Cause you're living it day by day, but then if you think, Oh, me now from six years ago, Chelsea, you were telling me stories that you and Beth could barely afford gas to drive to california yeah and your oh, car yeah. broke down and oh yeah i think that story's so cool though. oh yeah when she moved out here we had to go pick her up and she was driving a 1990 honda accord uh no air conditioner no air conditioner no it left us stranded in uh somewhere in uh i don't even know where you we and beth are always left stranded. <laughs> always dude <laughs> We couldn't afford gas. We had to get her ex boy. We had to use her ex boyfriend's credit card to get home. Although he gave us permission and she paid him back, but you know what I mean. So, dude, if you're listening and you think, oh, they they just make money and they're just these, well, dude, we're fucking, we're just like you guys, okay? We just make a little more money now. I'm not a millionaire. I just want to throw that out there. People yeah. think I'm making all this, and I'm we're we're doing well. I'm not a millionaire, but it's it's weird because nothing's changed but then everything's changed and i think that's i think my my life around me is different but i'm not different it's so hard to i feel like i'm living a double life sometimes yeah and i'm like who the fuck am i yeah (laughs) does that make sense who am i i i haven't changed but everything around me has changed and we just keep we're just keeping on trucking on, and if you guys want a more detailed answer, I would feel like I I, I would say okay, um, things that have changed are people come up to us in public. Yeah, definitely going out in public, anywhere you go, you feel like you kind of are getting reckoned without just like thinking, oh, everyone's looking at me, but like people will or stalk yeah. or take photos of you, so like yeah. you know that's gonna happen. That adds anxiety, I think, to me, for sure. Really? I'm used to it now. I just, 
I don't know, dude. When when I see somebody knowing who yeah. I am and then you just know, you oh, they're going to either come find me yeah, or just me and Brett have been getting followed in the car yeah. and just, I don't know. I'm used to that by now. Uh, it's, I like it. I mean, I don't like love it, but I, I like it. I don't mind people coming up to me. I think it's fun. I love meeting people. There are some times where it's a little awkward, like somebody will just stare or something, but you know, so that's changed, you know, people used to not come up. So they, they come up to you now, which is fine. Um, yeah. And I don't, I don't mind it. No. Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. I didn't mean that. And, but what else has changed? Maggie, can you think of anything? Just what I do for work has Life's changed, I wild. guess. I feel, Just, I, I feel like, you know, years ago we would go and hang out and go to like the flea markets and stuff. Like we're so busy now. We don't really get to do stuff like that. Yeah. But I miss that shit. I mean, like, it's not a bad thing, but yeah, just little things like that. I feel like that too, like. I know we have this social media life, but sometimes we might just need to calm down and fucking live. <laughs> Take I know. a break. Which you is know? what we're, which is, yeah, which is what I would like to, I would like to do pretty, pretty soon. Just, There's, I'm going to take a couple months yeah. off from touring and, and just chill, you know, focus on like other stuff, the podcast and stuff. But it's so weird because also I get, okay, I will say this. When I do like a and a on Instagram, I get. Every single time, a ton of messages from people that are like, what's it like being famous? How is it? What does it feel like being recognized and stuff? And it's like, I don't, oh God, it's so hard to explain you guys. I understand the, um, the, um, curiousness. Yeah. I don't feel like much has changed. I still fucking do my laundry and do shit that I did before. You know, I don't, it's nothing's changed really. It it hasn't. Nothing but everything. Right. It's so weird to explain. Nothing's changed. I'm still, I still do the shit I did before. I still, you know, if I go to a restaurant, I'll wait in line just like everybody else, you know, (laughs) like I don't get, I don't know. treatment. No. So stuff like that in terms of like, you got to be famous, famous for that type of change. You got to be like, you know, we're not that famous. You got to be. We're still very fucking normal. So. Very normal. I don't know. What I do has changed, but who I am in that in, in that sense is still pretty very much the same, which I love and which I really, really, really would like for it to stay that way. It makes me think I need to start maybe getting ready. That's the problem. My armpits, armpits stunk <laughs> so fucking bad the other day, and Brett goes, hey, Paige, this chick just noticed you. And I'm walking around the store Stinking. thinking, where the fuck is she going to, when is she going to come up, and I'm going to give her a hug, and yep. I'm, I'm just going to have to tell her. Yep. Armpit stink. Yep. So that has, that has absolutely happened. Cause I'll admit it. Uh, sometimes I won't brush my teeth. Yeah. And I didn't brush my teeth either. <laughs> I told her that too. And I'll like run to, if I just need to run into town real quick and it's the morning and I didn't brush my teeth, whatever. And I'll literally get recognized and I'm like, somebody will come up and I'm like, God damn, I haven't brushed my fucking teeth. <laughs> You know, I don't want them to be like, oh, God, her fucking breath stank, man. And that's how they remember you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guarantee that happened once to Post Malone and I his know, fucking career is ruined. <laughs> Post Malone fucking stinks. Right. That's right. why I just tell people, so. Yeah. We're normal, dude. I know that's a boring question. <sighs> Ooh, one more thing, yeah. too. I go to World Market a lot. Uh-huh. You and get recognized in World Market a lot. Yeah, but the chick, because the crew knows. Yeah. And I love their snacks. Like, they have the best fucking weed munchy snacks. Really? But I go through the snacks so fucking fast that I don't want to keep going back, you know, yeah. buying the same snacks yeah. every day. Yeah. So last time I just bought, like, a bulk size. Where'd that come from, that story? Because it's like they recognize me in oh. there, so I don't want to keep going back and buying the same thing day after day because oh, yeah. I eat it so fucking oh, fast. Okay. That makes me think a little... Okay, so you, beforehand, you wouldn't have even thought twice about that. So. Oh, no. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but every day, oh, hey, Paige. Yeah. Oh. You back for your snacks? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Hey, honeys. Um, Annie here. I was just calling because I just listened to episode eight where you guys were talking about the purple powder coming out of Paige's butthole. 
Um, and I just wanted to know, how do you guys decide who gets to post what video on whose Instagram? Hmm. Um, I've just always wondered that. Love you, honeys. Love you, honeys. Great question. Oh, yeah. yeah, that is a good one. Um, I, I feel like I've been asked this a lot, like on Instagram. So people do are curious about this. So this goes with everyone that I've ever collabed with or done videos with Libby Daniels. I mean, everyone, usually if it's the person's idea, they get to post it first. Mm -hmm. So if Paige comes to me and says, Hey, I have this idea about this video, this X video, whatever. I'm like, hell yeah, that's freaking hilarious. Let's do it. We film it. She gets to post it first. Then I will usually wait a it day, depends. two days, a couple weeks maybe. Sometimes I won't even repo repost it. Yeah. But if it's like, oh, this is fucking hilarious. I want this on mine. Yeah. Well, that's how it works. Even with Libby, you know, if I come up and I'm like, hey, I've got this video idea, I get to post it. Mm -hmm. first. There are some fucking stingy influencers, though. Yes, there are. Who won't give you footage or, you know. And we don't work with those people. It's a whole different world out here in the social media life and that's why you got to keep it tight and yeah and there's an etiquette for sure keep but it right and keep it tight me and you we just don't really care we're like we're both gonna post and yeah we're not gonna fight about it like it's just no a, it's just an instagram post or no <laughs> not at all um and it's content for the both of you right and then you get more reach they get more reach it's yeah yeah, but usually that's how it works. Whosever idea it is gets to post it first. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never done a video with anyone that's like, that's been like, no, I want to post it. I don't want you posting it. That's not how it goes. If you're in the video and you're spending your time and your effort and your whatever, yeah. that's your content too. You mm -hmm. get to post that too. But it just goes with that saying that whosever idea it was gets to post it first. Yeah. Correct. That's a great question. Anything else? I loved it. In the, yeah. If y'all have any questions about the influencer world, I'd love to answer some more of those questions. It's wild. They're getting like a bunch of social media lawyers now. Just. Yeah. That's like a whole nother thing for social media. Yes. It's a thing, man. Yeah. For sure. So. Oh. Yeah. Give us a call. How many free trial subscriptions end up costing you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars? Long after you forget to cancel? Fight back against scammy subscriptions with Truebill. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people save up to $720 a year using Truebill. You're kidding. Uh-uh, I'm not. Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel all your unwanted subscriptions in just one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel your unwanted subscriptions, so you don't have to. I love Truebill. They saved me $80 last month. I use Truebill, and you should too. Hey, you guys, this is a real deal, okay? Truebill has over 2 million users, and they have saved them over $100 million. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash viral. Go right now. Truebill.com slash viral. You guys, it could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash viral. Hey, honeys. Brenna from Mississippi here. Love you guys. Just have a question. Um, is there a store or something that you guys like to go in around the holidays that just like radiates like holiday vibes like christmas or something believe it or not for me it's sam's club like i love to go in sam's club around christmas because i don't know it just it feels so like just jolly in there and i was just curious if you guys had a place um that made you feel like that love you guys have a good day bye love ya love you honeys i would say hobby lobby lifts my fucking spirit dude <laughs> I was about to say, take it away. This is your shit. Ma you, Maggie, you love Hobby Lobby, too. Hobby Lobby. Me and Beth love going to Hobby Lobby. All three of y'all. Yeah. Paige, Beth, Matt, they are Hobby Lobby hoes. I will only go if they drag me. And we do drag you, and you <sighs> hate it. God. Sonic's right next to it. Yeah, so, that's I mean, true. That's true. Kind of got to go for that anyway. We could spend hours in there. Oh, there's so many freaking aisles. 
Every aisle is decorative. It's oh, it's clean. Okay. Why Hobby Lobby over like Joann's? Oh, Joann's isn't doing it. The it's lights not as are big. too dull too. Yeah, it's yeah. not as big, huh? And Hobby Lobby has those deals. Yeah. Fifty percent off. The, those deals are hanging up every fucking day mm-hmm. too. And those deals are on every aisle. You're gonna yeah. get a good deal. Yeah. If You're you right. go into Hobby Lobby. A great deal. Haven't found a store that does deals like that yet. <sighs> besides Hobby Lobby. I haven't either. <laughs> God, y'all are ridiculous. They're getting, y'all's pussies are throbbing right I now. I want to go to Hobby Lobby now. Sometimes I just go in there and look around and just won't even buy anything. Dude, we were at Hobby Lobby not too long ago. Yeah. A few weeks, a couple weeks ago. And uh, y'all, you drug me. I don't know what we were there for. I was, and I'm like literally like one of those dudes at the malls that's like, Ugh. I only go if I need something. If I need something, I'm in and I'm out. They like to just, you know, smell all the candles and shit. So I was leaving and I called you to or something. You remember this? Yeah. And I was like, hey, or you called me or something. I was like, oh, we just left Hobby Lobby. You're like, I'm here. (laughs) I was like, I didn't see you. Yeah. Well, I just left. (laughs) Okay. That was it. We had just missed each other. We were probably in there at the same time, which is funny. I'm there about three times a week, early, early, (sighs) early in the morning. Have y'all ever seen someone like a close friend or a family member out and about in public in a random spot not close to the house just somewhere out that you were not expecting yeah really Mm -hmm. i did once and it made i don't know dude i'll never forget it it's this is so dumb but it's one of like the come up i don't know i just things i know the story you're gonna say yeah it just made my whole I think about this all the time. It's one of the like jo- most joyous moments of my life. So my grandma, when she was alive, like I lived with her in college and we were so close. We were so close and I, oh my God, I miss her so much. And, um, I had just gotten off work or I, something like that. And we lived together. So I saw her every day, but I had went to the dollar store. I had to go in and get something. So I'm sitting there, I'm, uh, walking down this aisle and I went to go curve the aisle and this, lady was coming and we kind of hit baskets and I was like oh excuse me and I looked and it was her and I was like nanny and she goes ah she started screaming like Chelsea like you know I was like what yeah I was like what are you doing she's like oh I had to get a couple things and she was like I'll see you at the house and it just made my whole (laughs) day yeah just seeing her out and about yeah it's exciting you know I don't know it's just a little story yeah and then like you keep seeing her Down every aisle. (laughs) Right, right. Exactly. (laughs) All right, I'll see you at the house. Exactly. That's cute. Grannies are just cute all in all. I know. Love them. They can do no wrong. They really can't, you know? What's up, Brett? How many more questions we got? We're out. Oh, Oh. I'm out. Oh, okay, so no warning. Yeah, sorry about that. You didn't announce it. That was the last question. I didn't even know. I didn't know either. Hmm. So. So that was the last question. Cool. I don't have any more honeys. Hey, honeys, podcast over here. I don't want it even to be over. I know. Is there something else you guys wanted to talk about maybe? What? Oh, you know what? Yeah. You know what? Let's do, okay. Let's end it on this. I had a DM from a guy. And we have been telling people that if they don't feel comfortable calling in or whatever, they can DM us questions. And we have been getting a lot of questions DM. So we will be going through those more. And if we can, you know, if you feel more comfortable doing that, we can. So he messaged me on Instagram. His name is Bobby. And he said, Chelsea and Paige, my wife won't let me come on her big jugs. I know it's like a, dis- it's like a disrespect thing, but I think it- it's so hot. I feel like if she heard about it on your podcast, it may normalize it somewhat for her. Thank you guys for the great content and all that you do. Yeah. I thought this was a, I thought this was a great question. Um, I didn't know that people thought it was a sign of disrespect to come on tits, face, anything. Well, it just depends. Like if your wife or partner thinks it's disrespectful, then you automatically think it's disrespectful. I love it, dude. I want cum all over me. I want it in me. I want it on me. I want it in my mouth. I want it anywhere. Your ear. I don't care. I think it's hot. And you have these big tits. Oh, coming on tits? Nothing hotter. Utilize the titty. Yeah. Just, hey, let him come on your tits. <laughs> Just see. Just, Just to see. see. Just to see. You know? You, they're washable. You can wash it off. 
It don't won't hurt nothing. That's kind of how I look at life. Like if you can fucking change it back, like hair. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Right. Getting cummed on my face. Don't care. Don't care. Not at all. Plop in the shower. You kind of cared the other day though. It seemed like. Oh. Yeah, because I didn't come. All right. <laughs> No, no, not uh, that. All right, we're so, uh, we're ending it on that, Brett. Be quiet. Oh. You didn't make her come, so shut up. <laughs> I'm going to be nice to Brett this whole podcast. <laughs> well, he didn't make you come. So I have your back. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't think... I, come on, man. Just, just, just let him come on your tits. I think that's fine. It's all fine. Every, it, I think it's fine. It's fine. The what, other day so? I was uh, busting a nut, and she told me to hurry. Like, during my nut. <gasps> You were inside of her? Yeah. And it was too much. After said. I bust, I look up, and if he's wearing a fucking headband. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what about the, even, it's wood grain, though. Wood grain headband. He wears the fucking headband. You know what I'm talking about. It, okay, if I looked bad. up. Okay, if I looked up and I saw Brett just humping me with a headband on, I'd tell him to hurry, too. <laughs> <laughs> me, I didn't, too, probably. I didn't know with what else to say. With a fucking headband on? I'm so mad right now. Sometimes I forget my headbands on, yeah. Oh, my God. I hate God. it when I take out my hat and then my headband's so Okay. On. Oh, my God. It, wow. Yeah, too much. What a great podcast, guys. Thank you so much for listening in on this podcast. And thank you for all the calls mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. for everything. Hey. And for all the support and listening, watching, sharing on your story, oh. tagging us. Like, it. It's just making the podcast grow and grow, yes. and we can't thank you enough. No, we honestly can't. We really appreciate you guys. And we would love some more, like, crazy stories or, like, just wild shit that's happened to you. Like, you got to be like, dude, you got to listen to this. Listen to what happened to me. We'd love for you guys to call in. Yep, and okay. remember, if it's uh, more clear, then you're more likely getting mm-hmm. chosen because... exactly. Because people want to hear it in their car. We're still trying to figure all that out, trying to turn up calls without it being grainy. Mm-hmm. So we'll be, get it, you guys. Be okay? patient with us, please. You get it, guys. Um, give us a call at 442-777-3331. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what everybody, everybody else, else thinks. thinks. Get ready. Get ready.